you're looking at a uh, 2001 Chevy 3500 box truck. It's in real nice condition. Has um, 290,000 miles on it. And yes, that's a lot of miles. But this truck was used in oxygen delivery and really has just about all highway miles. Has a Vortec 5.7 motor in it. Nice and clean. I left this door open. It has two doors. But the nice thing about it, you can lock it up tight and uh, keep tools in it or make a work area or something similar to that. Lock it right up with a, uh, with a lock. It has a really nice aluminum ramp comes out nice and light. You can see that in the uh, pictures. I'm going to put my tag on here. While I'm doing that, I can just tell you we're in Bel Air, Maryland, which is about 20 miles north of uh, Baltimore, right off of I-95. And um, this is a no reserve auction, so the top bidder you know, will own it. Don't bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. Sometimes, uh, you know, you might think it's pretty cheap, and it is cheap, and they get end up getting sold for that. Let me start this up. It has a little, um, you can hear the belt tapping. Not a tap, it's a belt squeal, squealing a little bit. The GVR is 9,500 um, pounds. That is not a tap, that is the belt squeal in there a little bit. And I'll let you hear when I shut it off so you know that's true. You can hear it squealing. Oh, let me close that other door. Anyway, this truck runs great. It's tight on the road. The only reason they got rid of it is it has a Slight like um, wine in the rear end. If I rev that up, you can hear that squeal goes away. That's nice cold air conditioning. Which I'm going to turn on right now. Because it is hot out here. And it will drive you home wherever you need to go. I've gotten several trucks from these people. They maintain them well. See there's an old change sticker up there in the corner of the window. They maintain them well and um, they're in nice condition. But they do use them, as you can see by those miles. They do a lot of deliveries of oxygen. like that for like the last 10,000 miles so it doesn't bother anything but it from local stuff you may not have to fix it for a good while if you're going to take it on the road you know it may need a rear if I used rear and plug it in there it's not really that big a deal I do I just tell everything about my uh, vehicles And the other thing is, when I put it in neutral, that wine goes away. So that's definitely what it is.
if you're looking for a box truck, box truck with a nice aluminum ramp on it, also a truck you can lock up tight, make a good service truck for somebody, um, or if you tend to store things overnight, you know, the, this is a pretty secure vehicle versus a regular box truck with a real flimsy door. She's tight on the road and uh, really pretty easy to drive. So if you're looking for a cheap box truck, you want to be able to knock up your tools, it's reliable, runs well except for the howling in the rear, buy this truck. <laughs>